that Lawson brothers are really, really good. We did a great job, I thought, in the first game against the Lawson brothers, but tonight um, they were really, really good. I'm proud of our guys. I'm proud of our team. We continue to battle and fight and work. The three freshmen really all played well. Tulio did some good things. Malik Fitz was amazing. And uh, I thought Mike Bibby did some good things. He, he turned it over a little bit, but he's put in a tough spot tonight um, with no Geno Thorpe. So the ball was in his hands a lot. They're a pretty good pressure team, so they forced him into some turnovers. But um, I thought we competed hard, fought hard, and um, just not enough, just not enough. But uh, I am proud of the effort, proud of the fight. I've been part of games that have been 19-point games that can easily go to 30. I, 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 hopefully that shows you a little bit about where our team is, and we're not at all pleased about losing. So we're not, we're not happy about the loss at all. But um, there's just a lot of fight in these guys. They've got every reason right now to, to cave in a little bit. But man, they just continue to practice hard. They continue to battle hard. They continue to fight hard, compete hard. We don't always make the right plays, but um, I don't ever fault their, their, their kind of their want to and their desire to play. They, they really continue to fight and compete and practice hard, and, but uh, we just got to keep, keep at it. Just got to just keep plugging away. And as a good friend keeps telling me that's one of our great supporters, you just got to keep hammering the rock. You just got to keep, <laughs> you got to keep hammering the rock and at some point it'll break. So that's what we're going to do. That's what, that's what we're going to do. Questions? Um, when can we expect Gina Thorpe back? I hope Sunday. I hope Sunday. We thought that, you know, he got hurt about a week ago and wasn't able to play against Cincinnati. And we, we were hopeful. We were very hopeful he'd play tonight. And just he didn't feel like he was ready to go. So we're, we're very hopeful he'll play Sunday. Yeah. One three one two three zone, man to man from like the kitchen sink of teams. Is there one thing that you think is starting to work a little bit better? Is there one defense that you think might be? Well, I, I mean honestly, and not to be a smart aleck, but if there was, we'd probably stay in it. But we just, you know, we're not. We're probably not great in any one thing. That's why we're two three's been the best to us, really, with our personnel. So we played a lot of 2-3. We go to the 13, the big 1-3-1, one, one, which kind of morphs into a 2-3. So it's really a, it's a disguised 2-3. I mean, I'm not telling any, any of the other coaches anything they don't know, but it's a disguised 2-3. Um, and then we play man, and we try to press some back to zone, and then we try to go man some. But man is, is not easy when you're dealing with a guy like Lawson who can really make you look bad. And um, so anyway, we're playing with all those defenses and trying to kind of get in them, get out of them, and mix them, and try to keep teams off balance as best we can. Did you expect Malik Fitz to perform as well as he did tonight? Well, I didn't expect him to do what he did, but I tell you, he is a hard worker. He's a great kid, works his tail off. He's getting better and better and better. And he's one of those guys that he can make the three, and then he's got the ability to put it on the floor and at least go by somebody, and then he's got the ability to get fouled. So some guys can just make the three. They can't do anything else. Malik Fitz has got the ability to make the three, plus he can drive you, plus he can get to the free throw line. How many free throws did he end up taking tonight? Yeah, he got to the free throw line 11 times. So when you can do that as a scorer, you can accumulate some points. Obviously, if you can just make the three, it limits your ability to score. But Malik's got a chance to be a good – we've got three good freshmen. Mike Bibby's got a chance to be good. Malik Fitz has got a chance to be good. And I, I love Tulio. Um, I'd probably got to do a better job getting Tulio more touches. A lot of that's probably on me. And we've got to do a better job making Tulio into more of a star. Because Tulio's really talented, really talented. So I probably got to do a better job getting Tulio more touches. So, but Malik was great. Malik was great. Anything else? We're real quiet and kind tonight. <laughs> you can you can hit me. I'm thick skinned now. You can hit me with. 
What's the biggest improvement you've seen from this team since you took over? Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. This team, five weeks ago, wouldn't have come back from 19 to cut it to 10. There's a lot of, we've done a lot behind the scenes, so I'm really everything behind the scenes from the way they're carrying this, themselves as basketball players to all academics, um, the way they're coming to practice, the energy at practice, the, the, the fact that they're listening and wanting to be coached and film sessions. And that's really where I've seen the, the biggest change. Um, and until you can get all that where you need it, once you get all that right, you can get better results. But um, so that, that, and I think just the, the fight, the, com the competitive spirit and the fight. So, we know how. I'm sure you've seen Tubby all on this road along different places, different scenes, and they get to the tournament, they'll be the sixth team he's taken, which, uh, you know, it's hard to believe anybody doing that. But just what, what are your observations on just not only what he's accomplished, but his longevity and his adjustments to all these places he's been? Yeah, well, I've been. I've, I've known Tubby and Donna for a long time, and, and uh, I think when you look at college basketball and you start thinking about the successful coaches in the country that are also humble men, he's at the top of the list. You know, so I've got the utmost respect for him. Um, I think some coaches at times get a little full of themselves, and Tubby is, he's just Tubby. You know, he's humble, he's a good man, he's... He's, he's a guy that if you had a son, you'd want him to play for Tubby Smith. And he's a heck of a coach. So, again, I think he's at the top of my list. Very, very high with great coaches who have been successful. It's hard to be as successful as he's been at so many different places. And if you look, I know before he got to Texas Tech, I think maybe the 19 prior years before going to Texas, Texas Tech, I think he'd won 20 or more games a year for maybe 19 straight years. I could be a little off, but I'm not much off. Um, great coach and a great man. Got the utmost respect for him. Your numbers are so depleted. Is there anything you can do to take the pressure off Michael, or is this just going to have to be trial by fire? Well, I think it would. would I, I think it was trial by fire tonight. I think with Gino. Yeah. If you've got Gino out there with Mike and Gino playing together, you've got a kind of a two-headed point. And Gino's really not a one anyway. You know, he's always been a two. We're trying to convert him to a one. Mike's kind of a one, two, more of a one. But I think with the two of them together, we'll be okay with Troy in there some as well. But, um, again, I'm not an excuse maker, but not having Gino is pretty significant. It's pretty significant. So we hope we can get him back. Any other questions? Okay, thank, thank you all.